question. Um, hope everyone's been well, enjoying your little social isolation and, you know, forced pseudo holiday for some of us. I know a lot of entertainers out there are doing it pretty tough. Um, but today, let's take your mind off it a little bit and let's learn something that we can all do together when social distancing does end and we can welcome people into our homes again. So, today we're going to decorate a cake. Wow. Pretty simple, I know. All we've got here are two 10 inch uh, sponge cakes that have been slapped on top of each other. Snap out of it! Very simple. They're on a little turntable. Nice and simple, makes it super easy for decorating. Um, but, you all know, first things first, whenever you're in my kitchen, first thing we must do is pour wine. We do need some wine. I do drink red wine. Just a tipple. But I also drink white wine. So we do need to have a little bit of wine with us. Cheers, girls. Mmm. Delicious. Lovely. All right, so I'll introduce you to some of the other things that we're going to be using today. Today we're going to be using the 18-inch Cake Craft Disposable Piping Bags. You can buy these online. They're wholesale. It's about $7, I think, for a pack of 20. I'm using them. We're going to be using the Cake Craft Paddle Tool, which has got a nice little rim grip on there. So when we're doing the sides, we're going to get a nice smooth edge on them, and it's going to make a nice smooth top on it. Very easy, very effortless. We're also going to be using the Ultimate Lazy Person's Icing. This is the Cake Craft Buttercream Icing. Some of the icing we have use these little icing gels here. This is the Color Mill Hot Pink Gel, and we have used the also the yellow one, we did try and make a purple icing for you all, um, but we learned that when using gel colours, um, you really ought not to mix them because this is some version of purple that we ought not to be talking about. Um, now before we do go ahead and start doing this, just going to quickly wash my hands, take my jewellery off and wash my hands. And of course, if you are a friend of the uh, inappropriate gift company, please make sure you, once you're done, so let's just pop that off to the side. We've got lovely clean hands. Um, you'll probably just need some little palette knives as we go through today. But now I'm going to take a seat, have a little chat with you all while we ice this cake. So I've got here about 1.5 kilos of white buttercream icing with a round nozzle. This one does have the round nozzle. All we want to do is on the turntable, we're going to start at the bottom, gently squeezing the buttercream through, which it's not letting me do for some reason. There we go. I think I've overfilled the bag just a little bit today. A few moments later. And we just keep going around and around and around. You'll, they'll overlap. They'll go higher and higher until we've reached the top. So we've still got a little bit in the back and we've roughly done the sides. It doesn't look pretty, but that's okay. It doesn't need to. So this is where the video is either going to be a real success or it's going to go horribly wrong. So we're going to take our little cake craft paddle tool and we're delicately going to place it on the edge and just smooth this out. Now you're going to end up with a beautiful build up on the tool that looks like this. That's okay. We're just going to wipe that on the top. The idea here is that as you go around any of those gaps do get filled in. You can see how nice and smooth that's looking but still on this side we're not looking that great. That's okay. It's like drag makeup. You know, it doesn't start out looking the greatest. But then by the end of it, you're like, damn. Damn. So, now what we want to do is come back to the bag and just squeeze all that buttercream back down to where we need it to be. So we're going to do Roll around the top. Now the beauty of homemade cakes is they don't need to be perfect. 
you're not trying to make something that's absolutely perfect, okay? okay? I'm pretty happy with that. Are you happy with that? I think it looks pretty good. Nice and simple. Now, we did say that it was going to be a nice, simple icing, just so it looks pretty when your guests are finally able to come over. So we've got some pink icing and just a little star sort of rosette tip on the piping bag. Just, just the, the tips. tips. Again, we're using the 18 inch Cape Craft piping bags. And all we're going to do, pop a little rosette on, just by giving it a gentle squeeze and a swirl. You don't need to be too fine about it. It doesn't need a lot, awful lot of finesse. The more finesse you do put in it, the better it's going to look. But it's not the end of the world if it's not absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day, it's food. It goes in looking pretty, and it does go out. So your body will sort it out. It's fine. This is fine. Looks good so far. One last one. There we go. So that's all the yellow done. Now we'll just go back in with the pink. And there we are. One buttercream iced cake. When you're all out of social isolation, you're all welcome to come and have a slice. I'll bake a fresh one for you all. But that is how to do a basic icing job on a cake and make it look pretty on a budget. Until next time, stay safe and uh, don't go crazy in isolation. See you then.